Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. I found it. Watch this before you play Pokemon Go. Can you guys see this? Uh, yes, I can see it. You yeah. can see it? I can see it. I can see it. Watch this before you play Pokemon Go. Oh, it's 35 minutes long. Okay, well, we're not going to watch the whole thing. We'll skip through it. But this guy says... 35 minutes. I didn't know it was this long. Now, quick video. a lot of things come Wait, over from the Orient. A lot of things Wait, come over. can all hear it? I can hear uh, it. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, this is why I can't hear it. We're from the Orient. Okay. Okay, can... Curtis, can you hear? Yep. Now, a lot of things come over from the Orient. A lot of things come <laughs> over from the Orient. I can't and hear this for some reason. You can't hear it? Yeah. Weird. Like, do I need to... Um, I wait, guess I could just turn on the stream sound. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Curtis, you can hear it? Yeah, I, c I can hear it. Okay, okay. So we're going old school. Turn on, uh, we're listening to the stream. This is going to be I was going to say, you could also double check that my screen share isn't muted in Discord. Like, if you, like, click it, because it's, like, separate from my regular audio, but I don't Things know. have a big impact uh, on us, and some things uh, don't. Oh. I can't think of anything that come over from the Orient that actually had a big impact yeah, just, or a phenomenon type it, of okay. it is pretty. It is pretty uh, quiet. Interesting. Huh. And people are asking to turn on closed captioning. Oh Scarlet. yeah, I I got that for sure. Um, Getting that. Oh yeah, Ruxin, you can read the uh, you can read the captions. Perfect. Um, perfect. There you go. I can turn this. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Um, other than Godzilla, but there is something new that's come over to the United States and has actually captured the minds and the imagination of every single child. And you know what? It's not new at all. Japanese kids have been watching this thing since 1995. It started out as a we cartoon, the same hair. went to a comic book. <laughs> Wait, did you say we have the same hair? <laughs> you actually told me before. Yeah, me and... You told me before stream that this guy was your fashion icon, your fashion, the guy you kind of based your whole brand off of. You yeah, said that you were just upset spell. you couldn't grow a, 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 a chi like, what is this, a chin strap? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a really goatee. chiseled goatee. A goatee. Yeah. They made it into a video game. Went to toys. Collectible card game. Now, praise God, there's even a, a movie on it. And it was started <laughs> in 1995. God. God. It's not. I mean, praise God, there's a movie on it. That's what I'm saying. New. Yeah. But it's new movie. to kids, and they're eating it up. And it's called. What's it called? Pokemon. He said it right. And it stands yeah. for Pocket Monster. And it even made the cover of Time Magazine. Now, the yeah. first thing I want you to notice is, do you notice any symbol up there that you've seen before? No. The spiral. Oh. And it stands for what? Oh, what does the spiral stand for? It's like, yeah, I guess. Male fertility. Male fertility. Oh. I was not expecting that. I thought what? it was like you know <laughs> you get you get like hypnotized or something. Uh, that's why I get so aroused when I see Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. gonna say like <laughs> I did. I actually. Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's like from uh that Fergie song. Um, yeah, you just start it. Uh, wait, I have um, this art. Ruxin, I got this from ZNG Emporium. Oh yeah, you can't see it, but it's uh, it's poly, it's polyrath art, but he's like super buff. Oh, um, you got that? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, <laughs> and so that's I, this is my, that's a symbol of male fertility right there. This is my spank bank, if you know what I'm yeah. saying. Did you know what you were buying at that point? I mean. <laughs> I think I like, wh I don't know why I got sent it. I can't remember the context. Okay. Now, also, it's like so crazy to thing? look like, I feel like he's projecting. Cause like, Astrally. no one would think that oh. looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he wouldn't, no one looks at Polyworld and is like, oh yeah, that's the symbol of <laughs> male fertility. So but it's like when you have, he's the only yeah. person that thinks that. When you have a hundred symbols that like, all mean like evil shit you could just find them anywhere if like a spiral oh, yeah, exactly. a triangle a square like all mean evil stuff it's like you see that that's a circle yeah. and a circle means what? the devil the thing is actually called polyworld <laughs> but they actually had another name for it before they renamed it 
When this creature first came out, it was called Hypno. And they changed it to Polyworld to make it a is little more innocent. Factor Cap, is that true? I actually don't know. It, I wouldn't put it past the uh, localization team, but... Um, I mean, we do have a Hypno, so it's not like they... <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, didn't they do that with a few Pokemon where they have like an idea and then they just made a different Pokemon with it instead? Yeah, because like Leonhart had the one of the guys who like uh, named a lot of the like did a lot of the translations and stuff for like the OG Pokemon. And so like the process is like mm -hmm. interesting, but I don't I don't know if this guy is the leading expert on on Pokemon. <laughs> But you see what it actually does is it's supposed to be able to mesmerize and hypnotize its enemies. And you can see how that would happen. That starts spinning around <laughs> and it's just like one of those hyp hypnotic wheels that, that they use to hypnotize. <laughs> and you see up He's like he immediately fell out of his depth. He's like it's just like one of those <laughs> uh, one of those spinny spinny confusy <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. Here in the top, here's a creature, oh, an alligator real... type creature over here, dragon. Kind of a funny duck build thing down here. And this is an interesting <laughs> character over here. This character over here is called Mewtwo. And Mewtwo looks like an He's alien. Awesome. If you look at him real carefully, he looks like an alien. Mm -hmm. But you know, the first thing that I noticed about that thing is, when notice? I looked at it, and I looked at those eyes, I said, you know what? That kind of looks like the things that rat. we used to pray to inside that circle. Now you notice... Inside that circle? <laughs> what does he mean? that he has uh, a particular salute uh, that he's given. And he's in this pose. Every time that you see Mewtwo, he's in this pose. Now he has three fingers. And those three fingers are always sticking out like that. Now he doesn't have five fingers yeah. like we do. He has three. <laughs> okay, we get it. There's three fingers. <laughs> and Poliwhirl, who has gloves on like we have, only has four <laughs> fingers. Just reading the captions is so much funnier. <laughs> and he has no toes. But if they were the three on us, they'd be this. And that doesn't mean hook them horns. Okay, mean I... buddy. That's a, stretch. that's a stretch. That's a stretch. It could have been any three fingers. Why'd you choose those? Love you. Hook em horns. Yeah. Doesn't mean one more. It means It'd hail the, Satan. The shocker or whatever? Yeah. You know that. It's the satanic salute that all Satanists identify themselves with. And it says here, you look here, it says for many kids, it's now an addiction. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Cards, video games, toys, a new movie. Is it bad for them? What we need to look at. The answer was hell to the no. Or yes, but I feel like I, if somebody's like, like what didn't grow up on Pokemon, I don't know how we even, you know, get along. That is whether or not that particular statement holds true. Is it bad for them? Here's one of the characters. Cute little one. Everybody, okay, everybody okay, go. You know what, like, the craziest thing about, like, people like that? Um, who are, like, they're against video games and all this stuff, but, like, at the same time, like, have they read the Bible? Like, that's so, the Bible yeah. is way more inappropriate than, like, any of the stuff. I know, it's, it, there's the always children. so much stuff where it's like, well, what's your take on this? And it's like, well... I don't have one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I love that when so he's weird. introducing Pikachu, he has to concede that Pikachu is adorable. And he's like, well, this one. <laughs> well, I mean, this one. Yeah, this one's pretty. I mean, characters. This one's adorable. <laughs> Cute little one. Everybody. Okay, everybody go. <laughs> oh, come on. I know. I know you wanted to do that. See, that's why I did that. He's cute. But the one thing I noticed about him right off, this is Pikachu. One thing I noticed about him right off was... His little arms. What's he going to do with those little arms? <laughs> his yeah. tail. Oh, his tail. It's a lightning bolt. And yeah. it's a satanic Z. It even comes down here oh to a point. God. Now, just by looking at him enough alone is not enough to really be able to say, okay, yeah, that's bad, or that's what? satanic. Okay. What does he want? Does he want all of the... the Pokemon to just be like <laughs> spheres, like beige spheres, like no definition or anything? Dude, like, what that's, a, that's a question you're asking in bad thing? faith. He's just asking not to put a satanic Z onto a Pokemon. <laughs> and we all know what a I mean, satanic Z is. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. But this is like that video of that girl who's like, don't drink. Have you seen that Monster Energy video? No. Um, it's like, don't drink Monster Energy. Oh, it's like this. It's actually crazy. We should watch that too. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, this girl who's like, 
trying she's doing a presentation on how monster energy is like satanic which is uh, like actually probably true but like oh wait um, i have seen that because it's like uh the 666 thing right yeah yeah or like something she's about pretty the convincing of it. Too. yeah i do believe yeah. that but i do believe i feel like if that's done as like a meme right like it's done as like a marketing ploy uh aren't also right, yeah aren't all lightning bolts z's at least as depicted in popular media like <laughs> oh yeah true <laughs> What we yeah, there's no, need... like, curved one. Yeah. Really, like, nice and, like, an S. You know? There is also the part where this is more a W than it is a Z. It's not really, you know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know where he's seeing the yeah. Z. What we need to do is we need to look at the actual production of these things. And the first thing we need to do is we need to look at who actually produced the trading card game that has captured the minds and the imaginations of our children. Now, uh -oh. it doesn't make any difference what I say. It's what their own material says, because their own okay. material will give them away. Okay? So I'm going to read to you. Here's the direct quote from the, the web pages of the producer of this game. Listen to this. The Pokemon trading card game is a new collectible card game that is made and distributed by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. What is a wizard? What is a wizard? Male practitioner of black magic. Damn. Dark magic okay. attack, my I was gonna be. I, I thought he was going to be like the symbol for male fertility. <laughs> yeah, well, know that. He's about to start uh, ragging on a dark magician now. It's yeah. going to get rough. Yeah. I, I love how he, he literally just said the company that made... He just like brought Wizards of the Coast into this. Wizards. You heard me? Wizards. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> the same company that made the best-selling game Magic the Gathering. Uh -oh. Magic the Gathering is a heavily occult laced trading card game which has been very popular in the 90s. And I should also tell you that Wizards of the Coast also owns a subsidiary company named TSR. And TSR is the company that puts out all Dungeons and Dragons material. <gasps> so Damn. let's look at I should know that. Magic the Gathering because this is the same company that puts out Pokemon. I wonder if you get How many see a circle? There it is. Magic I like that your chums apes out there actually become the game. I just want to see if he gets back to Pokemon. Because the dungeon and it's the most fearful faster battle. Power magic and long kills and what evidence. I just like how he's using it over years. I know it was a long time ago, but it just feels weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a while. All right. What have we got here? He's got like, he's got Damn, a bunch of I Pokemon mean... merch like on his table. Like he really went, he did his research. Yeah. Oh. We're back. To me carefully. If we examine the characters... Is that the Pokeball of this... from Burger King over there? I think so, yeah. It looks like <laughs> it, yeah. My aunt at the time worked at Burger King, and so when they ended that promotion, she brought home the like cardboard display that they put in the store. And so I just Whoa. had it in my like living room for a while. This particular That's program, and they are the kind of role models that we want our kids to be watching in other words if if this whole game <laughs> someone in the chat said there's only one shape allowed in christianity and that's the cross <laughs> the characters of this game the monsters this whole premise of this thing actually goes to establish the kind of values the kind of standards and the kind of morals that we want our kids to now, have look i haven't seen this video but whatever he says about brock is probably true <laughs> <laughs> Brock was out of pocket for the entirety of the anime. Yeah, true. He was probably the horniest character in any, <laughs> yeah, dude. any piece of media. And I he think. could not take no for an answer. He's basically everything you should not be. No. When they reach adulthood, that it's okay. In other words, if they actually help to establish the kind of morals, values, and standards that we want our children or our grandchildren to have when they get to be an adult, that it must be all right. Can we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So what yes. we need to do is we need to examine and see what kind of role models we have in this game. Dude, imagine, imagine like being in the audience and thinking this dude is spitting. This dude is fucking <laughs> killing the game right now. I have never been more engaged in, in a service. Now, what we need to do then, everybody go all oh, again. Oh. oh, I know he's cute, isn't he? Little satanic tail. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is he into the Satanism or is he not? He's like, oh, look at him in his little satanic tail. Isn't he a cute satanic little Satanist? Tail. He's awesome. Up here is the Pokemon ball. Okay. That's this <laughs> thing here. Okay. And inside of that, you catch the Pokemon. Hold on.
how where did he get this image it looks like it was like printed out and then traced <laughs> like by a child the it's like three different ones overlaid onto each yeah, other yeah i don't know what's going weird. on there on let the camera get a view of that that's the Pokemon ball, and you actually catch the monster inside of that thing and harness the power in there, and then you can call on that power to regenerate. He's also got Animorphs. He's, this guy takes no prisoners. He's like about to go off on Animorphs, too. <laughs> ...itself outside of that ball, and praise God, it turns into a bigger and better monster. <laughs> now, we're told that there are 150 species of these particular creatures on the face of the Earth, and we're also told in the material that these pocket monsters are creatures that inhabit the world with humans and that they can evolve and grow in bigger and better creatures. Now, the object of this game is got to catch them all. And they tell you that if you catch them all, you become a Pokemon master. Listen, parents, that word master will appeal to any child. What? <laughs> because they can become a somebody. <laughs> they can become a master. And you know what? If you're the master of something, you don't need mom. You don't need dad. <laughs> you don't need grandparents. You don't need aunts and uncles. You don't need school. And you probably don't even need a church. Oh, God. If you become a Pokemon master, you no one can tell you anything you don't need god <laughs> you are a god yeah because yeah, you're exactly. a master you can become a god what <laughs> <laughs> damn you called it dude i pre-watched that's the premise of what this has been teaching you become the pokemon master that's the so whole. So this guy is against like being the best at something. <laughs> he's, he's against like trying to do something and succeeding at your goal. <laughs> That's such a strange position to have. If you're, dude, if you're a poke, it's like mom is like dinner's ready, and it's like shut up, bitch. I'm a Pokemon master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I hungry anymore. Yeah, I don't I'm need. Not, I don't need food. I've, I don't need any of your fucking. I've been eating these. I've been eating these fucking cards, mom. I don't need your stupid. <laughs> I, don't need I your just took a foot. bite out of a Raigeki mom. Do you even know what that is? <laughs> Do you even know what that means? It's a lightning bolt, and that's a Z. And that's a satanic Z. Mom, so the whole do you goal even count of... the lips on the <laughs> Do you even count? Fish? She's like, she's like, uh, I made, I actually made fish fillets for us for, for <laughs> dinner. It's like, well, did you count the lips? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you count the lips? <laughs> did you, it was a seven colored fish. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Of this game. Now, this is the main character right here. He's called Ash Ketchum. Ash, Not like burning, like the burning yeah, bush. Sure. Cow Ketchum, but Ash Ketchum. <laughs> okay? And I'm, again, it doesn't make any difference what I say. It's what their own material says. I'm going to tell you what, what they describe him as. Listen to this. An energetic and determined 10-year-old who's a little too competitive and he's obsessed with catching all Pokemon and driven to become the world's foremost Pokemon master. Uh -oh. Ash did say that. He did say he wanted to be the foremost Pokemon master. Foremost? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's his classic line. <laughs> I'm going to be the foremost Pokemon master. Uh, hey, Professor Oak, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... I'll do it one day. I'm going to complete this Pokedex and become the foremost expert on Pokemon studies. And, you know, every time yeah. that your children <laughs> watch this... Like, okay, never mind. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I take That's it back, actually. Weird <laughs> give, me, give me back Pikachu. Program, whether it's a video, whether it's a cartoon, whether it's a comic book, no matter what it is, they hear this mantra, this rap song that's played over again. And it says, I will oh. travel across the land searching far and wide each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. And then it's enchanted to them. Yeah, he's spitting bars. He yeah. memorized the whole fucking Over and over and over. It's enchanted to them. It's a song. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. They Don't repeat. you guys sing in church every fucking Sunday, too? Oh, that's so funny. He, he's like, and then they say, gotta catch them all over and over again. Almost like it's a song of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, it's so funny that he called that a rap song, but like, I think he's. Not, he didn't even mention the pokey rap. I think he's talking about the the music part of the pokey rap, but I think he's mixing it up oh. with the theme song. Right. He's 
Look, he did his research, but then he got the wires crossed somewhere. <laughs> over and over again. You know what it does? It fuels your child's craving for more cards, more books, more videos, more movies. Okay, he's right about that. It was genius what they did. Yeah, Making two worked, games yeah. also fucking ruined households. They just... <laughs> <laughs> genius, genius marketing play. He's got a point. It's designed to do that. That's what we call enchanting. Here's the next character. This is Misty. Look at this. Now this is off of a comic book. Okay, this is actually a page of a comic take? book. But if this was clear, if this was actually clear, you'd see that that's. Wait a second. I realized okay, what is this he is. Him? He has what? the world's lowest resolution image. And he has gone in and traced over the pixelated lines so that you could still make out the characters. Oh. Like, look at Brock. He didn't trace Brock. Right. <laughs> dude. Because I looked at how the bad the tracing on Misty is. It's so hilarious, dude. That is the definition of fan behavior. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's this so is, above yeah, beyond. This dude really popped off. It's a halter top. It stops right there. And she's got short shorts on. And you know she's got to be about the same age as what Ash is. Okay? And she's described as Ash's companion. And listen to what it says about her. She's headstrong and stubborn, constantly arguing with Ash. Typical woman. No, just... I think he's going to say just kidding, but still. <laughs> just kidding. God forgive me. All right. <laughs> Frivolous spirit. That's what it was. And here's Brock over here in the corner. Oh, so when he's sexist, it's the frivolous spirit. But when Pikachu has a one tiny satanic Z, <laughs> it's a big deal. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And Brock is by far the most hormonal. Because his... He is not wrong. He is not wrong. Oh, yeah, with the I agree with X many times gets him or the group in trouble. True. Well, then there's Pokemon trainer Gary. And Gary's not pictured in here. <laughs> but Gary is a real self-centered jerk. He's vindictive and he's I obnoxious. Like this whole show. <laughs> he knows so yeah. much about the plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a just a broad overview, but he just yeah. knows everything. <laughs> going into the plot points, he's like, he's offended by Gary. Like, he is Ash. He's like, Gary yeah. is a self centered jerk, and he <laughs> won't let Ash, like, become a Pokemon master. And the Imagine nepotism, like he's the professor's <laughs> grandson. Imagine, like, through tears, he's explaining, like, the synopsis of the Bye Bye Butterfree episode. Oh, dude. It's a really beautiful piece of media. And he has to let go. He has to let Butterfree go and mate. <laughs> mate with the pink Butterfree. The pink, satanic pink. <laughs> that is a sad episode. Oh, don't even get it. Like, it when he explains sad. when he has to leave his alligator Charizard. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty emotional episode. And then there are two characters, and one's called Jesse, uh -oh. and the other one's called James. Oh, and listen to what it says about them. It says, prepare for trouble, make it double. Jesse and James are an evil gang looking to steal rare Pokemon. Jesse and James are stuck up, fashion conscious, and you know what? Fashion In the program, <laughs> they're also prone to cross-dressing. Oh, my God. I think he's referring to one episode in particular that was banned in America. Have you seen, have you seen that where like a uh, James has like huge. Oh boobs? Yeah. 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 I mean, also like if anybody cross dresses, it's fucking Jesus. <laughs> True. Um, the, uh, wait, wait. Oh, I was like, what is he reading from? Is he reading from like idiots guide to Pokemon or something? Like, because uh, I don't, whatever he's reading, it yeah. seems like one of those like third party books that like explained Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Now, aren't there several episodes where James cross dresses? Ma yeah. Maybe I'm just like, I, I have to be honest, I don't remember a lot about James from yeah. the original anime. Yeah. I, I totally forgot about that episode of James with huge boobs. <laughs> yeah. I it's that weird. one I think didn't air in America, so maybe maybe it's <laughs> just like there's other like cross dressing episodes. If you don't know yeah. what that means, that means that if you feel like you're a woman in a man's body, 
you wear women's clothes. Also, yeah, trans rights in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Clothing. Yeah, let's get it. You dress like one. If you're a woman who feels manly, you wear men's underclothing and dress like one. Cross-dressing. Exactly. Oh, what kind of role model would that be? Okay. Got a pretty well good establishment on this thing. Remember hey, this that I is said supposed, is this guy the role it, model that we're supposed to be like looking up to? Yes. This guy? Is that what he's implying? That's, that's who like I'm the, looking up to. This guy is what I base my entire standard. world view on. If the characters yeah. were the kind of role models that established the kind of values, standards, and morals that we wanted our kids to have when they got to be an adult, that this game or this particular thing is okay. Remember we said that? Okay, so let's examine what we got. Let's see. Uh, headstrong, stubborn, quibbling, self-centered, vindictive, obnoxious, hormonal, sexually preoccupied, evil, thieving, cross-dressing, jerk. Yes, yes. Tr sorry, that was unrelated. Cross-dressing does not mean you're trans. I was just responding to someone in the chat. <laughs> sorry. Jerks. No. Yeah. Obviously, I yeah. I don't know about you. people in the chat saying that but too. But I mean, even if I wasn't a Christian yes, parent, I wouldn't want my kids to grow up with those kind of traits. Was then we have to actually say that the characters of this game Alien. don't biblically stand up, do they? In other words, they don't represent the kind of values and standards we want our kids to have. And they play in this game, watching the cartoon, reading the books, looking at the videos. Looking at the videos. Now we're also told that these actual beings have supernatural <laughs> abilities. The fact that he's putting this on like a overhead projector is so funny to me. What was this called in school? Is... There was like a different word or different term. Uh, like slot. I, I don't even oh, know. Do y'all this chat now? Is there a name? Not overhead. I mean, it is an overhead projector, but maybe there's a different. In other words, they can evolve and grow into bigger and better monsters. Why does everybody keep saying Elmo? Our school called it the Elmo. Okay, that's not what I. Maybe it's just the over. <laughs> oh, I got Elmo too. What the yeah. hell is Elmo? Now this is a scene. Actually, this is a poster from the movie. And look here. This is Mew. Too. This is Mew over here. I M -E -U. saw it opening night. <laughs> Hell yeah, Crazy. dude. He's kind of cute. <laughs> and he, why does he always have to comment when he like is like likes the Pokemon design? He's like, and then yeah, here's Mew, weird. who's cute, but he's next to Mewtwo, who's a devil. <laughs> this is Mewtwo over here, complete with his satanic salute. And if you notice, that pose is always given with the left hand. That's significant. But he's, wait, what that do you mean? Like the right hand. I thought it's the, this is the right hand. <laughs> it's the right hand, right? <laughs> he's like, he can't tell. He's like, just wrong. He's just facing the wrong way. Remember the left hand path? <laughs> no. And we're told that they get bigger <laughs> and better. Of course, that's what we always want. Bigger and better monsters, that's what the world needs. And we're told that they get bigger and better through the use of energy. Well, he's, well, what? <laughs> I, well, I was not even gonna talk about evolving, like which Mewtwo and Mew do not do. Now, a funny <laughs> thing happened, well, actually it wasn't funny, but an interesting thing happened when this movie, the Pokemon, was actually first released in Japan. I want you to see it. This is from CNN. Oh, is this gonna be the light Look thing? at this. Because this is very highly unusual. Oh, yeah. Japanese uh, we know. This in the lights of a popular TV's children had Pokemon hospitalized broadcast that an investor said. He's just reading the horn. Now, you know, working in the mental health field for as long as I did, I. That is what threw me. I was like, you worked in the mental health oh. field. I can tell you what? that bright flashing lights will trigger off in several, uh, in occasion, seizures and convulsions in kids or even adults that are prone to be epileptic. But not in a hundred and so kids who have no seizure problem and no epileptic history. There's the something- The fact that this guy is a mental health professional is troubling. That is scary. Yeah. That- Oh man. That does <laughs> explain why my therapist <clears throat> earlier today was talking about the satanic z and i didn't know what they were going off about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i was like i was like oh, yeah i'm just like kind of feeling down this week and she was like well have you <laughs> removed pikachu from your life unusual about that <laughs> and they went through and it goes on further to say that they went through and even did cat scans and the whole premise was that at the end they had to conclude that they don't know why it happened is that by coincidence? 
Or did something happen that they can't explain? Remember I said that they get their energy through energy balls. And here... <laughs> Not really they, true. They, they juggle the energy balls. Oh. <laughs> Here's a picture of little cute little Pikachu and he's like he does Again. never he never mentions Pikachu without saying he's cute. Being energized by an energy <laughs> ball. Being energized no, he's by an not, energy though. ball. He's not though. He's doing a little he's doing a little attack, perhaps. Or maybe he's just hanging out. And now you notice he's not <laughs> yeah. quite so cute anymore. Ugh. Twenty four ninety nine. A dream. Give it to me. And his little satanic tail <laughs> oh, is really wow. erect. <laughs> Sorry. And now you notice he's not quite so cute anymore, and his little satanic tail is really erect. And now, parents, if oh. you're not up on Pokemon, I use that word. <laughs> you need to be. And one of the things you can do is go out and buy the official Pokemon trading card game player's guide. Maybe that's what he was reading from. One of those third party ass <laughs> guides. Yeah, that's not official you, merchandise yeah, at all. Is, you can tell well, this is in one forty p, and you can tell this isn't like <laughs> a first party thing. You can get this at any store that yeah. sells any of the Pokemon stuff. I mean, anything. Yeah. Uh, you, you can get it like at uh, uh, Toys R Us or any of those places that sell any of the Pokemon. And it says on the back of this, catch them all, then build an un unbeatable tournament deck. This is a third party like guide. Like I don't know why it's like, and then yeah, it's like. And one of the things you can do is look through here because it shows every Pokemon in existence and it tells you what their powers are and it tells you how they get weak and it tells you how they energize how they get weak and what you need to energize them. But something very unusual is also in this book and that is that they actually show the energy balls that, that is used to make these monsters bigger and better. He he's he's about? mixing like the card game with the video game with the anime and it's very it's a very uh, funny like combo. I want you to uh, see him. I have to uh bounce out. Oh, you're good, wife dude. Is, uh, wife is uh calling me, so thank you so thank much. You guys. For, I enjoyed it. Congrats out. on All the right. polls. Thank you, thank uh, you. Sorry that I uh, might have messed up the no, prediction. No, 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 no. You're good. No, you're good. Dude, it, Hey, man, it worked for me, so thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Curtis. Jarvis, uh, just pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I'll just uh... block it out of my memory. Um, <laughs> okay, dude, thanks so much. Um, yeah, thank you, man. No problem. It was a good time, man. All right, cool, cool, cool. Catch you later. All right, you, dude. See ya. What a good I guy. hope you can see him. I'm from where where I am. Yeah, he's like, uh, this is how he found out about Pokemon cards, like energy oh, cards. Oh, it's the cards. I'm going to hold it out here so hopefully you can see it. Look at the yellow. Uh, what do you see? It's a satanic Z. Satanic Z. Lightning bolt. Look here. All seeing eye. Right. Oh, shit. Everybody see that? There's an eye. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Up here. No, no, it sees all. Here's the clenched fist. Symbol for rebellion, anarchy. Yes. Or fighting. <laughs> Yeah, the clen the clenched hand, fist. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, or when it's coming at you, symbol that you're about to get your lights knocked out. <laughs> right down Fire. here is a powerful witchcraft symbol where my finger is. Powerful witchcraft symbol, and it's a symbol for fire. A powerful mm -hmm. witch? Like, hello? It's just this a flame. Like yeah, imagine like you go to his house and you try to like use his stove to make like I don't know like fucking egg or something, and he's like, yeah. no, 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 no fire in this house. Is it's a witchcraft? I'm worried <laughs> that like he's gonna, you know how like Koga's ninja trick in uh, Japanese had like a swastika on it. I'm worried about. I'm worried if he knows about that. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty damning. Actually. Yeah. Down here is another powerful witchcraft symbol. It's a leaf. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, a new yeah. age symbol. What the they hell? call a new age symbol for Earth. Okay. What? What other way would you show the? If if it was a tree, he'd say the same thing. Yeah, this is a new age symbol for uh, the genesis of life and the rebirth of. Uh, right. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, which is a green <laughs> leaf. And down at the bottom Leaf. here, this blue ball down in here it's, okay. is the symbol for energy of water. And water transforms into wind. What? Earth, wind, and fire. No, yo, he just okay. fucking... That's bullshit.
he really just like didn't have yeah. it and then he was like I and understand. water turns into wind <laughs> earth wind and fire and then like september starts playing um yeah i also love that this seems <laughs> our reaction was like this is the craziest thing he said like this is where <laughs> yeah, we're on the line <laughs> yeah i mean it oh man the three basic elements of all witchcraft parent and I'm going to ask <laughs> you, just, parents, like life, grandparents, concerned aunt and uncles, friends. Do you think they put that <laughs> in there by coincidence? <laughs> friends, none of you matter. None of you matter anymore because the children, the child, is a Pokemon master. Incidents. <laughs> Do you think they just built oh. this game, put these on there, and said, "Hey, let's just put those symbols on there. They look cool. Kids won't know what they are, but they'll like them because they look cool." Right. Or did they put them on there? Kind of, but like, it's, come on. Because they know what the meaning of each one of those symbols is. And they want to desensitize our children to seeing those symbols so much that when they see them in other things, hey, no big deal. Yeah, we go, hey, and it's a yeah. leaf. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. It's a it's fire. Yeah, it's sort so, of yeah. the thing that's Oh, is that a fist? Everywhere. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> There is a devised plan going on for the battle of our children's minds. There's a wow. war going on right now for the children because Satan wants them really bad. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting him to say, like, I don't know what he's talking about. Who better to serve the Antichrist? Than Satan wants him. Satan is fiending for these children. And the youth. Satan wants these kids. He wants them real bad. And the whole object is to catch them while they're young. Remember the old. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Ca remember the, the Pokemon gotta motto? Gotta catch them oh all. Oh my god, he's, catch all. He's, he's, wow. he's just doing word association at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's Who do you think feels catch. that way? It's the enemy. Gotta catch them all. Gotta get them while they're young. Gotta end those are not the same thing. Duck satanic doctrine. Gotta yeah, put you know the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon, the Pokemon, the, the tagline was get them while they're young. <laughs> and then followed by, uh, to get them while they're young. Gotta end duck satanic doctrine. That's the next line of the poker app. <laughs> Gotta end <laughs> duck satanic doctrine. <laughs> Gotta put these symbols in their spirits. Gotta He's just saying completely, he like took this huge <laughs> leap. I feel like he was, it was downhill after he said that, that water was air. Yeah. Put these monsters in their heads. <laughs> Gotta mess up their dreams. <laughs> That's the dream Gotta eater attack. Dreams. Gotta mess up their reality. Gotta break up the family. <laughs> this man is spiraling. What is happening? <laughs> Gotta Pokemon, gotta lot of gotta break up, break the, up gotta the break family. up the family. Break Have them, you ever tried to get a, 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 talking to a child when he's into this game? It's impossible. That's hey, true. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but he's Back, also a child. Yeah. Not, but like, but not for the reasons that he's saying. Right. It's yeah. A, it's fuck, a fun mainly, ass game. mainly, a, it's a, the being a child part. They spend more time on right. this Pokemon, and you know what? It's amazing that your child can tell you every Pokemon in existence, even tell you where they get their power, what they do, and how they do it, but they can't tell you what you told them five minutes ago. Dude, he's doing his type five now. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> they also can't tell you probably what they learned in school that day. And, and they certainly can't tell you scripture. And even worse than that, they can't quote <laughs> you scripture. <laughs> There's something wrong. Ow. And I'm talking to the men right now because, you know, man, we've been given an awesome task by God. We have nothing to say about it. You know why? God tells us that we're the priest of our homes. Yes. We are the ones who say. <laughs> One guy saying, we are, yes. <laughs> we are the priest of our homes. Priest of our, our homes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey. Yes. We are the ones who say, we are going to follow God. I don't care what anyone else does, but as for me and my family, we are going to serve the Lord. We are the ones who are supposed to say, this stuff is going We are the ones in our Pokeballs. <laughs> and Jesus is the <laughs> one <laughs> releasing us from the ball, and we will serve him with our satanic Z's. Going to be allowed, <laughs> and this stuff is out. And ladies, Women of God, um, you've got an awesome task ahead too. Because mm -hmm. 
I I, was... I don't. <laughs> okay. I'll hear you out. The word of God says that you're to raise your children in the ways of the Lord, not in the ways of these Pokemon, not in the ways of witchcraft or Satan worship, but in the ways of the Lord. Yeah. Are we doing that? Five. Or are we subtly giving in? This so is men don't have to raise their kids, is what he's saying. Oh well, it's it's That's the it's the woman's it's the woman's fault. She's the it's one the who, woman. yeah, the late. It's come on, ladies, ladies of God, come on, ladies come on, of God. you're not come you're on. not pulling your weight over here. <laughs> That's so fucked up. It is. It's so fucked up. Stop wearing your halter tops and get to and get to raising a family. Picture from one of the comic books. Look at this. Pokemon. Psychic surprise. <laughs> surprise, all right. He's really feeling himself now. Look at this. <laughs> this creature right here is called Haunter. And I talked to three kids in three different cities who actually came up and told me <laughs> that they were having bad dreams and that creature was in their dreams. Cap. Yeah, how That's did cap. he get into that situation also? Where kids just like three kids in three different cities. Why are you traveling to different cities <laughs> doing like a research? And then also like, wait, he, is he interviewing kids? Like, I I don't know. Like, what is I don't know. Yeah, I think those kids are gonna have a nightmare. Gonna have nightmares about uh, that fucking guy now. About him, that, yeah. He probably asked him. Like, he probably asked like kids who like don't know how to speak yet. Like, do you have bad dreams about this guy? <laughs> he just like points at him. <laughs> sure, it's called yeah. Haunter. Wait. That makes sense. Oh, Haunt. I hardly know. Right up here is a creature that's not. <laughs> Wait, he didn't finish that. It's called Haunter, and that makes sense. <laughs> Haunt. <laughs> anyway, we want to talk about. Anyway, that makes sense. <laughs> Haunt. Right up here is a creature that's not quite so cute. Now, this over here is not quite so cute. Little Pikachu oh down here. He's crying his eyes out. He's not cute, and even Ash doesn't look cute anymore. <laughs> I love how his review is not cute, not cute. That's not cute. He really like this. This is like a. He should be like a RuPaul's Drag Race judge or something. Yeah, dude. He's not like cute. honestly not cute. I would love him on that. Not he cute. would. He would probably, out of context, I feel like he'd become a fan favorite, and we'd be like, "What if we created?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not cute. <laughs> not cute plus not, ratio. Not cute. Plus <laughs> ratio plus your weight. Uh, Psychic <laughs> surprise. And you know, going back to those energy balls, I believe that those energy <laughs> balls represent that the Pokemon get their power by supernatural occult ability. You saw the symbols. Remember the materials speak for he's, he's now trying to guess where Pokemon get their power. It's a fictional story. <laughs> Like, right yeah he's yeah he's talking like these are just real things that kids are collecting yeah he's like and here's where they now the energy balls is where they want you to think they get their power but where the pokemon actually do get yeah. their power and this is canon <laughs> i've uh i've talked to satoshi yeah, Tajiri these, himself <laughs> it's like these like these poor parents are going to come home to their kids and they're going to like shake them by the shoulders and be like where are the energy balls where, <laughs> where are, are you the keeping them like i don't know Mo. <laughs> don't listen to haunter Oh my god. <laughs> Come back. Don't break up the family. You'll never be a master. Like yo, I think yo, my uh, parents are tripping. P hold up. Piso P, P I just got raided with Ra eight hundred viewers. Yo, Shout out up? to the Raiders. Shout out Raiders. We're watching uh me and my friend Jarvis. We are watching a very uh religious person talk about uh uh, how bad and dangerous Pokemon is. So it's true. It's important. Damn. It's important stuff. Someone said, "Is this a Danny McBride skit?" It looks like one. <laughs> yeah, it could we've be. only got six minutes left, so it's coming to a close. For itself, they give themselves away, and what made that even more evident was two cards. One was called Abra, and the other called is card is called Kadabra. Abra. Kadabra. And that's an actual phrase. It's an actual name. Listen to this. Yeah, that's kind of what they were going for. Webster's Dictionary defines yeah. it as a word <laughs> supposed to have magic powers and hence used in incantations on amulets, etc. A magic spell or formula. 
And on the Abra card, it says, using its ability to read minds, it will identify impending danger and teleport the user to safety. The Kadabra character. Sounds pretty nice. Yeah, I would love a Pokemon to teleport me to safety. Sounds like a really positive thing, actually. Yeah. And yeah, well, also, the, this is uh, Alakazam Erasure as well. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And is this like. I don't understand. It's like, is it just the fact that there are magical spells in Pokemon that is bad? You know what I mean? I guess. <laughs> yeah. The fact that. Yeah, I'm still not. Cause like in cause like magic, yeah. In like there's like spells and magic shit like in the Bible, right? Am I wrong? Like I Jesus mean, did some pretty magical stuff. Yeah, I mean, depending on how you want to label it, I don't, I don't, I'm not a scholar of the uh, the right. testaments, old or new. But but you could describe that as like magic. Well, they're miracles, what? but like as magic. So oh, like it's yeah. What's the difference, really? <laughs> yeah, does he know that Pokemon isn't real? Yeah, that's like why I'm <laughs> like, oh, whoops. That's what's throwing me. That's what's throwing me. Also, let me know if this still plays because right. I just like accidentally full screened it, so I might have messed it up. Has a pentagram. It's just playing. Still good. Okay. On his forehead. Yeah. And he has SSS across his chest. And it is the Bars? satanic SSS. Why? And in my particular sect of Satanism, yeah, we didn't have, have it, be. but I ran into other groups that did. They had tattoos on the lying. inside of their wrist. Lying. Wrist over their. I actually talked to three groups in three separate states yeah, who all told me they had <laughs> dreams of these S's. Breasts <laughs> or on the inside of their thigh, and it was that same SSS. You know what it stands for? It's like when Donald Trump says that everyone's calling him and saying stuff. <laughs> They're right. all calling yeah, yeah. me. They're saying. I had a bad dream of Haunter. <laughs> Satan's solemn no servant. And uh, also, the Kadabra character is always pictured on the card with his left hand giving the satanic salute. You know, Kadabra uh, was either loosely based or directly based on Uri Geller, the like um, spoon bending like charlatan. Oh, dude. yeah. And, right, he, um, yeah. and he sued Pokemon back in the 90s. Or the early 2000s. Wow. Uh, and they actually didn't print a Kadabra card for 20 years because of this, because of Uri Geller. Because of the lawsuit? Yeah. And, and uh, he, like, at the 25th anniversary, I think he was, like, allowed, like, allowed them to use Kadabra's likeness again. Um, wow. Which is, like, kind of wild. Because, like, I mean, it's a middle evolution, so, like, nobody, nobody cares, but... It, it's like right, no, yeah. it was like no cadabras for twenty years, but Alakazam well, passed. Kadabra, yeah, Alakazam and Abra were just fine. Yuri okay, Geller someone in my chat said, like, "Someone in my chat said, as an actual Satanist, I've never seen any of these symbols he's talking about." He's <laughs> wow. A uh, Midwestern person uh, who came from a weird city, weird culty churches. It is super common for pastors to lie about having a troubled past with Satan. They pretend to have insider knowledge. Oh, damn. Maybe he's like going to tell wow. us about how he actually was inside of a Pokeball. And so he knows what it was like. <laughs> it's terrible. It's hell. <laughs> yeah, also, this, screen, this screenshot is actually kind of fire. <laughs> this is actually like, <laughs> get, get a tattoo of this. Yeah, put the parental advisory fucking thing oh on the dude it's an album cover holy shit album cover. <laughs> and again i have to ask you do you think that's on there by coincidence do you think they just made this yes. game and said hey let's just throw that in there because it looks good yeah let's just throw that in there because it makes it look a little more exciting a little bit yeah or did they put <laughs> that in there because they know exactly what it means and they want our children to get desensitized to it they want our children to be able to look at that and actually at one day now, while they're identifying with their favorite Pokemon, reach up and go, Hail Pokemon! <laughs> Bruh. Dude. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? This is, this is every day, man, of course. I said, Hail Pokemon, gotta break up the family. That's, that was my two yeah, main things. That I gotta, what was the thing you said, like, uh, Gotta impart satanic ideals or something like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> and gotta break up the family. Gotta, gotta switch up our realities or whatever. Yeah. 
And what are they actually Dude, hailing? That is so that is so crazy. He also that sets he up this false thing. He goes, Hail Pokemon. Reach up and go, Hail Pokemon. Pokemon. And what are they actually hailing? What are they actually hailing? The hail Pokemon thing isn't real. So now he's like he's like <laughs> riffing off of his like already busted. This imaginary premise. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Satan. Okay. Listen, our kids are carrying around these cards like they're magic symbols, and they are taught to believe that they can call on the powers of these cards anytime they want to. We, I wish. Yeah, that'd be great. And I ask you, do you believe that our kids believe they have power? Or I mean, that would, that would be nice. <laughs> Wait, the way <laughs> he said so that. Mean. He is like, do you want your kids to believe they have agency, that they have power, that they can make something of themselves? Yeah, first he was like, okay, you want your kid to be the best at something? No, fuck that. Yeah, now you want yeah. your kid to have power and strength? Nah. Confidence? Yeah. Or do fuck you think that, kids, bro. They, that it's just this is just nothing but talk? Because if they don't believe that it has power, why are we seeing time after time after time? Oh, he's... he's He's so good at talking while he's loading up the next overhead. <laughs> News clips about our kids beating each other up on school grounds, even stabbing each other over Pokemon cards. Oh, this is this is in your neck of the woods. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, where Curtis, was this at? Uh, oh, Quebec Quebec? teen stabbed at school over Pokemon cards. Yo. Yeah, just skip. Yeah, just skip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, wait. It's not Hold important. on, hang on. Enhance. <laughs> yeah, enhance. No, 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 no. me by name. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Quebec teen stabbed. <laughs> For, yeah, 14 year old Curtis Connor caught stabbing a child <laughs> for Pokemon cards. Yeah, this is saying not true. Hail Pokemon. <laughs> School over Pokemon this cards. True. This was in Montreal. And this was a 12-year-old student that tried to help his younger brother after his younger brother had his Pokemon card deck stolen from him. And he went okay, over to these that's young sick. men. That's like a, you're protect. Okay, it's not sick that a kid got stabbed. <laughs> Don't, it's what I'm, Yo, what I'm saying. Clip it. Clip it and rip it. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I was saying, the brother was being like a good older, maybe he shouldn't have gone that far, but he was like, he he's protecting his younger brother. He's not even using but the ideals was... of Pokemon. Like normally you would solve this with like a Pokemon battle or like a Yu-Gi-Oh duel or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah Trey just stabbed him. <laughs> if anything, yeah, that's like... not. <laughs> Imagine that's what they did in the anime. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, like <laughs> Weevil, Weevil steals Yugi's deck and Yugi just shanks him. Yeah, like, no, that's the can't. last time you throw my Exodia in the ocean. You fuck, you're fucking dead. <laughs> you got you evil bug man. And to get the cards back, and one of the boys pulled out a four-inch knife and stabbed him with it. Just like this Pokemon, Mr. Mime, and then it's like Mr. Mime holding yeah. a knife. Look at this. <laughs> Boy attacks teacher over Pokemon. Here in Lakeland, okay. Florida, there was... Oh, this is me. I'm from okay, let's Florida. Hear the hold whole... on, hold on. No, we got a young boy who had a, who had a <laughs> okay, deck of Pokemon cards, and he was passing them around the class, and the, the woman teacher noticed that they were paying more attention to Pokemon than they were her. That did, that did happen. Shit. Yeah. So she waited for the deck to get back to this young man, and then she walked over and grabbed that deck out of his hand. He got up and struck her dead in the face with his fists. With his fighting, fighting energy. Yeah, with his fighting energy. <laughs> Which he was des Damn. an image that he was desensitized to because of the energy balls <laughs> where the Pokemon get power. I mean, I'm right. sorry that that sucks that he hit the teacher. I mean, they'll <laughs> take the kids' cards. <laughs> also, he did. Yeah, he, of course, he got called in on the principal's uh, carpet on in the office, and they called for the parents. And the parents carpet. came to pick him up, and you know what he told his father? They were trying to steal my powers. Hail Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what Hail he told Pokemon. his father? Yeah. He said, Hail Pokemon. <laughs> they were trying to steal my powers? Like, I don't... That doesn't... That's, that's not a Pokemon not what he's thing. Yeah. You know what he told his father? They were trying to steal my powers. Our kids are taught to believe that these things actually have supernatural ability. And that they can call on them anytime they want to because their material states that. In this book, it tells you... It's called playing pretend. You you imagine that you yeah. can send out your Pokemon. And it's sick. Oh my god. Use your imagination. Your child 
You have the power at your fingertips, so use it. I love that he's sourcing this unofficial guide to Pokemon. <laughs> I know, it's so <laughs> funny that that's his frame of reference. <laughs> yeah, he keeps going back to it like, <laughs> it's party like Pokemon themselves book. wrote this. And that's what they're doing. This game is a war designed to attack our children's minds, their very character. And if it gets into our homes, it will wreck family life in one way, mm -hmm. shape, or form. This stuff is nothing more than unadulterated witchcraft, and it's put in a child's form designed to attack the child and the parents and the entire family that this thing is associated with. That's exactly what it's designed to do, and that's what it does. I gotta sell all my fucking Pokemon cards. Yeah, dude, honestly, you're uh, really risking destroying the family. <laughs> Damn it. Pokemon is a step to bigger and better things in the occult. And I have to wonder sometime I when a, a, a grade school child is going to do what the Weeping Bell Razor Leaf Pokemon card says. It says this. What the Weeping Bell Razor Leaf Pokemon card says? He's not even, now he's just Man. in deep cuts. And he's not even, <laughs> like, the, we, the Weeping Bell Razor Leaf Pokemon. Razor Leaf Pokemon. It spits out poison powder to immobilize the enemy and then finishes the enemy with a spray of acid. And these cards cost anywhere from $7 to $9 per single pack. And Not anymore, buddy. And he would freak the fuck out right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And there are report after report. The range is so small, seven to nine. Wow. Of children <laughs> going into their parents' pocketbook and stealing money to go out and buy these cards. Oh, what a dream. <laughs> what is yeah. the purpose? What is the magic that's behind the whole game of Pokemon? that it's popular and fun <laughs> <laughs> what is this magic i can't get people to read the scripture but i can get them to play this entertaining game <laughs> that all of their friends are playing and that is a worldwide sensation yeah what the hell i think like, by I looking at it, my head around it yeah they're they're having fun in that realm and looking at it the way that we've looked at all right, it is this closing remarks at it i don't see it as being something that is beneficial to our children I don't see it as being something that's going to help our family grow, and I sure don't see it as something that's going to help get the child established in the ways of the Lord. This is totally the opposite. Remember that the whole goal in all of these role-playing games, and the whole goal in all these role, sorry, he's spitting bars. Especially in Pokemon, yeah, yeah. is to become the master. Sir. <laughs> He brought As it all if the way he back. got a fucking applause. Be... So, uh, yeah. You need to Pokemon Go to church. <laughs> there we is, go. Hillary Clinton's in the crowd. The... <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Uh, that was incredible. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was enlightening, everybody. I hope you guys did something. Yeah. I, I sure did. Yeah, I had a great time. Um...